Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the capabilities of Adobe's AI Generative Fill, a powerful tool that was released this past week. I'm Scott Plathouse. Let's get started. In my last video, I touched on its capabilities, but let's recap what AI Generative Fill is all about. Adobe's AI Generative Fill is a groundbreaking feature that uses artificial intelligence algorithms to automatically generate content based on a given input. It can be used to quickly and efficiently fill in missing areas or extend existing elements in your designs. And so in my last video, I showed how I would use it to adjust the composition instead of the the older content aware fill content aware fill works pretty good but this adobe ai generated fill is fantastic so it's currently uh, available in the beta version which i've got open here and let's work on this photo that i took last weekend and in the setting you you can barely see here in the background, there's a little bit of uh, construction going on. Um, the owners of the property were, were building um, an extension. And so I was working really hard to get the framing where I didn't have any of that uh, in included in the frame. And in addition, you can also see they had uh, torn up the, the ground here to put in a new electrical line or a, a plumbing line or something. And so the grass is pretty torn up. So let's let's work on that first. And so I'm going to use the AI generated fill to see if we can fill in the grass and make this look a little pretty. Uh, I could use a clone stamp and try to get close. And I'd spend a lot of time doing that. But uh, let's let's see how this does. So I'm just going to select. Uh, I've got the polygonal lasso tool. I'm just going to select this. The kind of brownish grass area and we'll go through and just try to make a rough selection all right we're getting there I could use a regular lasso tool it might go a little faster all right Okay, and then we click on the Generative Fill button. And I'm not gonna put anything in here, I'm just gonna let it try to figure out that it's grass. And then Adobe comes up with this, uh, this image. Um, it says that uh, apparently it thinks that a woman in a bikini violates the community standards. And so we're going to, let's deselect, let's figure out a way around that. So let's just add another layer and we'll see if it works now. Again, I'm trying to make a rough selection this time. I am using the, the regular lasso tool. And we're going to hit generate a fill. Let's see if this gets us around the, what Adobe thinks is a violation of the community standards. And it does. And I can turn off that, that layer there. And if we look closely, this is, it's truly amazing. the job that this AI generated fill does in filling in this grass. Uh, like always, it gives us three different options. I really like the first one. Let's just check to see what the other ones are. That one looks really good too. And that one looks great. It's, it's fascinating that you can see that the depth of field as some of the grass that's this was some of the original grass it it matches that really nicely 
I can't decide which one I like best. We'll just go with the first one. Okay. So then next, I want to try to use the props. And so to do that, well, let's just, just adjust the composition some. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and we're going to go up here and just expand the, the image size. So I want to fill in this area up here. And, but I want to keep a little bit of this grass in the background. Not crazy about the, the furniture that was there, the lawn furniture. So we'll keep those out of the selection. Uh, but I do like these little um, shrub things. Uh, I think they're rose bushes over here on the side. So we'll keep those. And I'm just going to go around here and then hit generative fill. I may have to go back and turn on my um, cover her up again, but let's see what this does. So I think, I, you know, I'm looking at the pool and it's got some kind of rustic stone features around the pool. So let's see if we can put um, a rustic stone, let's do limestone and rock villa from the French countryside. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're back. And that looks really interesting. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that. Let's see what the other options are. That's nice. It looks like it could be an estate kind of thing off in the distance. Oh, I kind of like that. You know, what's missing is a stone pathway to the pool, but there's not a door. Let's hit generate again. So over here in the, in the properties box, we can select these, or you can cycle through them down here on, under this, um, uh, uh, this dialog box right here. Let's hit generate again, and it should give us some more options. I like this one. Let's see if I can add a, a path to the pool. Add stone path. Okay, not much of a stretch. Let's push it a little further and let's add let's add some pink flowers to try to match what's going on over here on the right hand side. Maybe white, pink flowers. And that one looks pretty horrible. Let's see what other one. <laughs> that one looks bad too. Now that one's not too bad. Now it's got the, the depth of field right. And we can go in and give Adobe some feedback. Let's try one more here. Oh, that looks nice. All 
right. And then we can even go so far as to let's say maybe we want a window here. We'll just say window. Rustic window. We'll say rustic window. So there you have it. All right, that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you found this exploration of Adobe's AI generated fill helpful and inspiring. Let us know in the comments how you plan to use this exciting feature in your own projects. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.